All right, we're going to go ahead and get things started here. Thank you all for joining. Uh, we appreciate you taking the opportunity to connect with us today. Um, my name is Josh Hordequin. I am the Senior Director of Sales, the Americas for Small Luxury Hotels of the World, based in San Diego, California. My team consists of Julie Owens, based in New York City, Lena Marino, based in Boca Raton, Florida, and Vanessa Johnson in Houston, Texas. Last but not least, Dominic Laddit based in Brazil for our South American market. If there's anything my team or I can do to assist, please do not hesitate to reach out to any of us at any time. I would like to highlight the upcoming webinars we have scheduled for the next several weeks. Our goal is to bring you up-to-date information from our properties in a focused manner. Should you have suggestions for a topic or if there's a particular region of the world you're most interested in, I would love to hear from you. Uh, please email me directly and if you enjoy the webinar today, I encourage you to visit our webinar landing page for the latest list of webinars and registration links. We'll continue to add new webinars as more of our hotels begin to reopen, so please do check back regularly. We've just launched our brand new SLH website and the travel agent portal is on its way, which will feature a great variety of services uh, for our travel trade community. In the meantime, you may visit SLH.com to book our hotels for your clients. Choose a hotel or destination, insert the desired dates. Once you click search and book now, you can enter your IATA or SLH ID into the field travel industry ID and proceed with the booking. Um, we do offer uh, commission services at commissions at SLH.com. And for travel industry related matters, you can contact agent SLH.com um, or you can always reach out to me. Um, SLH's GDS access code is LX. And if not already doing so, I would like to encourage you to utilize our VIP desk. This team is spread across the globe, speaking over nine different languages collectively. And as you can see, uh, this team can not only uh, obtain quotes, make reservations, handle VIP requests, but do so much more. Now, before we begin, if not presenting, please ensure your phone, computer, speakers is all, are all muted to avoid any background noise. Agents, for any questions you have for myself or my SLH hoteliers, please type those into the chat box. I will ensure each question is answered before the end of the webinar. Please note, your time is extremely valuable to me, and as such, each presenter has been given an opportunity to practice before today's webinar. In the unlikely event there's a technical difficulty, a follow-up will be sent for any missed property information, and most importantly, I'll ensure we keep things moving along. Now, with that, I'm pleased to introduce you to our 24th webinar, All About Asia. And a quick plug, if you enjoyed today's call, please join us tomorrow for our European countryside featuring four SLH fantastic properties. Uh, today we have the Outpost Hotel and the Barracks Hotel, Anya Resort, the Fortress Resort and Spa, and Bhutan Spirit Sanctuary. And with that, Regina, if you'd like to unmute yourself and share your content. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, good morning, good evening, uh, everyone. I'm Regina from the Outpost Hotel and the Barretts Hotel. So today I'll be going through um, these slides of uh, our hotel, which are situated in Sentosa Island um, that are under the SLH uh, program. Sorry. So um, just to let you know, um, we are, Sentosa Island itself is actually uh, within Singapore Island. So we are actually very, very close by to Indonesia and Indonesia. So for Sentosa itself, um, coming into Sentosa, you will have to take um, a Sentosa Express, which is like a monorail from Singapore, uh, Singapore Island itself. So. The nearest um, station that you can take from is actually Harbourfront Station. That is where um, you will be able to take cruises and also like uh, ferries to our neighboring countries like Indonesia or Bintan, etc. Yeah. So right over here, this is a map of our hotel. Uh, as you can see in uh, on the image on the right. Uh, whereby there's actually a U-shaped building. That is where the Outpost Hotel is situated at. And also at the back, um, right over here on the right itself, that is where the Barracks Hotel is situated in. So for the Outpost Hotel, it's um, 
situated in a newly developed building, but for the Barracks Hotel, it's um, situated in a heritage building that has more than 100 years of history. So close by to our hotel, we are a walking distance to Resorts World Sentosa, where Universal Studio is situated at. And also there are some other attractions like Madame Tussauds, um, also like the Wave House and also the beaches is actually very close by to the hotel. So um, today I will be sharing about Outpost Hotel first, then after that we'll go on to the Barracks Hotel. For Outpost Hotel, we are a five-star hotel and we only accept um, adults whereby guests who, who are above 13 years old to check into our hotel. So for guests uh, who are younger than 12 years old, they will have, they are not allowed in the hotel at all because we want to, we have specially curated this hotel to be an adults only hotel for honeymooners, uh, couples, and also business travelers. So for guests who are staying in this hotel, they will be able to pick um, five items for their minibar and they will also receive uh, welcome drinks and snacks upon arrival. This is uh, for the Outpost Hotel itself. We have a total of 193 rooms and we do only have one category, which is the deluxe room. However, um, for the rooms itself, we do have different view facing. We do have pool view and sea view as well. So the room size itself is at 22 square meters and all rooms comes with standing shower and also it comes with a Nespresso machine and also um, tea that are available readily in the room for the guests. And right over here, uh, this is an image of our restaurant as well as the breakfast restaurant of the hotel, which is situated on level seven uh, of the hotel. So one view, uh, is actually the first and only rooftop day club uh, in Sentosa, whereby they can actually uh, oversee the the beaches of Sentosa. So time to time uh, on a daily basis, you guests will be able to um, catch fireworks from the one of the attractions in Sentosa. And right over here, this is the sky pool which oversees the beach of Sentosa. Yeah. So moving forward, I will be touching on the Barracks Hotel. So for the Barracks Hotel itself, it's actually a luxury property and we have only uh, officially operated in December 2019. So we are only running for about uh, seven months for now. And for Barracks Hotel itself, it's an exclusive hotel which has only 40 rooms. So this will be the entrance um, of the Barracks Hotel. So for the hotel itself, there is actually a drop-off lounge for the guests. So once they drop off, they will be um, they will be sent to the check-in lobby via a buggy. So um, there will be uh, staff helping the guests with their luggages and uh, all their things to the uh, and will escort them to the check-in counter. Now over here, this is the facade of our hotel. So as you can see, um, the building itself is actually very much like a British colonial uh, building. And how we got the name the Barracks Hotel is basically um, back in the days during the British colonial days in Singapore. Um, the British Army actually used these buildings for their building, uh, sorry, for their meetings and also like uh, for for some of their uh, meetings and also like going through through their daily work, etc. So this is why we got the name the Barracks Hotel for this hotel. So right over here, this is the room inventory of our hotel. Like I've mentioned, um, we have a total of 40 rooms. So we start all the way from premier room and we do also have a uh, suite rooms available in the hotel itself. So the room size is uh, sizing from 39 square, 39 square meters all the way down to 89 square meters. It's an image of our premier room. So all the premier rooms with uh, the patio, it's actually situated on level two of the hotel. 
So maximum occupancy is actually two adult, one child. The child will be on sharing bed. And yes, for the barracks hotel, we do allow um, children to stay in the hotel. And then we do have our suite rooms as well. So suite rooms, uh, we only have a total of six of them. And it's all situated on level one with direct pool access. So the difference between um, the suite room and the premium room is basically that uh, suite room, it has a living room area uh, compared to the premium room. So room size itself is double of the premium room, which is at 89 square meters. And this is actually the garden suite. Uh, we only have two units, uh, two of these room types in, available in the hotel. So it's actually at uh, the corner of, uh, the, of the blocks of the hotel. And there you go. This is the, this is the um, pool and set rooms. So once the guests actually um, get out from their room, uh, from the back door, they will have direct pool access to the swimming pool. So for the Burris Hotel experience itself, uh, we do provide the guests with a welcome drink and welcome food upon arrival. And they will also uh, be given a 45 minute uh, complimentary heritage tour by our team. So the hotel is um, being designed in a way like it's um, a museum. So the team will actually uh, bring the guests around to the hotel and let them know about the history of the hotel and like what the hotel was being used previously. Yeah, and they will also have a direct uh, access to ex exclusive pools for all the suites and all the rooms on the ground level and the living room um, private lounge access. So for breakfast itself, um, we do serve um, from 6.30 all the way until 10.30 a.m. And all the refreshments, including evening cocktails and canapes, are available readily from 6 to 8 p.m. Yeah. And also, uh, we do provide a one-way transfer for our guests. Excellent. Regina, we had some, um, we did have a couple of questions that come up, but I'm not sure if you know the answer to. One is, uh, do you know what the quarantine rules are for U.S. travelers to Singapore currently? Uh, at the moment now, for all the quarantine rules, um, it's all for 14 days. So upon arrival, they will have to do uh, a 14, 14 days um, stay home in, in either hotels or facilities. And do you know when that's supposed to drop by chance? Have they said Sorry? announced? Sorry? Do you know when they're going to drop the quarantine, 14 day quarantine? um at the moment there's no news about that yet okay. Yeah. okay great and then also just one other question for the outpost and barracks um do guests have access to amenities um like can they switch back and forth can so if someone's staying at the barracks can they go to the restaurant at outpost um yes they can they, they are able to go over to the restaurant at outpost but however um if let's say they want to use like the facilities like the pool etc right, there will be a charge i think that's answered your question agents let me know if not you can uh, continue regina thank you yeah no problem Okay, um, so I'm touching this of um, the safety and cleanliness measures in a hotel because all of us know that um, during this period of time whereby uh, COVID-19 is happening and all, and Singapore itself, we have just recently um, received approval of uh, some of the hotels that can run for staycations. So i just like to share some of these measures that have been taken in place in a hotel to ensure um, to give our guests assurance as well. Okay. So for our hotel itself, for the Varex Hotel, we do allow a uh, free cancellation anytime before 6 p.m. local time, Singapore time, on the day of arrival. And also for um, guest areas, we will actually welcome them in a way that um, there's no handshake. Uh, maybe we will like, uh, just bow to them or like to bow bow to the guests etc. Then after that, for surgical mask, 
it's readily available because at a moment now in Singapore, it's compulsory to wear masks at any point of time, unless um, you are you are traveling with an infant uh, below the age of two. So everyone must have a mask um, be, to be worn at any point of time. If our guest does not have any mask, um, our hotel will provide them. Yeah, and we have, we have also in place um, automatic automatic uh, hand sanitizers in place in the hotel. So, for example, like high traffic areas, like the leaves or like the lobby, etc., it's already available with uh, hand sanitizers. So, for our house, um, like house, uh, we have actually uh, increased the frequency of like deep cleaning of all the high touch point areas. And our staff are all being well trained for all the hygiene uh, standards. Also, we are all um, readily trained. Excellent. Thank you, Regina. I really appreciate you taking the time to present today. Um, Michael, if you would, please unmute yourself, sir, and you may share your content. Agents, for any additional questions, please type those into the chat box, and I'll make sure those are answered. Okay. Everybody can hear me? Yes, sir. Good, uh, good, um, good evening here in the Philippines. Good morning there in the in the U.S. Bueno, uh, my name is Mikel. I am the general manager of Ania Resort Tagaytay. Uh, we are located in uh, in the Philippines. Okay, uh, um, in the Philippines, in the main island, uh, we are an hour, hour and a half uh, from Manila, the capital. Um, and then from the international airport Naia. Okay, we are in a in a place called Tagaytay. And in Tagaytay, we are around two thousand feet over over the sea level. Okay. Uh, in our property, bueno, our brand promise. Uh, we just opened three years ago the, this resort. Uh, our brand promise is a passionate and genuine Filipino hospitality. Uh, intimate, personalized, custom, customized local experiences, and then corporate social responsibility. That is, we uh, divide it into two major areas. One is uh, environmental uh, green hotel, and then the second one is that uh, since the family, the owners of this uh, resort, uh, are uh, sugar, are into the sugar industry. Okay, uh, they have a foundation where they they create a different livelihoods for the farmers of the sugar uh, collectors. Okay, uh, well, um, due to this um, COVID, uh, the situation where we are, uh, we have uh, implemented uh, in Ania Resort Tagaytay, uh, Ask Ania. It's a um, it's a platform where um, each guest will have the, uh, the opportunity to communicate with his ANIA experience assistant. Every single suite will have one ANIA experience assistant during the whole stay in the resort. This, uh, this ANIA experience assistant in the end will, will make the check-in check-out, will bring wherever should be bring to the, to the suites, let's say um, one bucket of ice, uh, extra pillow or, or, or even the, the the room service. Okay, we want to be just only one person touch or uh, one person um, assisting the guests. Like this, we avoid uh, uh, contact with with um, a different team members. Um, okay. Sorry, interrupt. Do you know? Um, is there any quarantining um, for any U.S. travelers or travelers coming into the Philippines at this time? Okay. Right now, in this moment, uh, is uh, the Philippines is not accepting any um, foreign any country coming in from outside. All the borders are closed. But I mean, the the latest development that the, it was la, by last week, it was that the um, the foreigners resident in the Philippines now they can fly back to their countries, and after they can come back. Okay, we already, I mean, there is a small steps coming in. Okay, okay. and this, those new developments are coming very, very, very slowly. I mean, the information that we got is is, is gonna be slowly, slowly the, the opening of the borders. Okay. 
Ok, um, in any resort agita, we have three type of, of suites. Uh, the smallest one is a 46 square meters, that is the junior suite. And uh, then we have a one bedroom suite. OK, um, the interiors are uh, modern elegant, uh, done by Manny Sanson, that is a interior, very renowned interior designer, Filipino. Uh, all the details that you can see around the room uh, are uh, based in the Filipino culture, in the Filipino uh, details. OK, we are in the mountain, but you're going to see some uh, in the gardens, you're going to see palm trees, uh, coconut trees. In the rooms, you're going to see shells, OK, because we want to and the, the colors of the sea also uh, to bring. I mean, even if we are in the mountain to bring you closer from to the sea. OK. Um, the amenities that we have, uh, we have a, a swimming pool because even if we are in the tropic, here in uh, Intagaitai is a bit chill during uh, night time. Okay, that's why the, the heated pool is must uh, if you want to, to enjoy still the, the pool. We also have one wine cellar with more than 150 bottles of uh, brands, uh, labels of, of wine. Uh, we have um, a library gym and outdoor um, gardens, okay, where we have a bonfire and we have a different activities and uh, our small herbs garden that we use for two main purposes. One is to, to have herbs and some veggies for our kitchen and the second one is to, to have an activities with especially with the children where we show, show them uh, uh, by a tour uh, the different uh, spices, uh, the smells, uh, taste of uh, different herbs that we are cultivating. Okay. Uh, this one, uh, we also have a conference and banquet uh, rooms for uh, 150 maximum. Okay. And then uh, in Ania Resort Haitai, we have two restaurants. One is Samira Restaurant, uh, that is more on a grill. Uh, fish, meat, seafoods, and uh, with Spanish touches. Okay, our best seller, our signature is the paella. Okay, and uh, we have Anila, that is uh, the pool restaurant, and is we have uh, div divided into Filipino local food uh, and Italian uh, pizza because we have a beautiful um, brick oven. Okay. And uh, just only as a highlight of the restaurants, all our products, uh, food, vegetables, um, pork, uh, uh, eggs are uh, sourced locally in Tagaytay. Okay, this is one of our, also one of our commitments with the local um, um, neighborhood. Okay, uh, in any resort Tagaytay, also we have a. Uh, uh, different activities, but uh, in our web page, you can read inner journeys. Under these inner journeys, we have um, uh, activities, retreats related with uh, yoga, with meditation, with um, retreats looking for your own purpose. And uh, the one that you see, is, for example, is uh, the one bamboo. It's it's a it's an activity that we have um, where, where you do a different poses with a with a bamboo and then with the breathing in and out. No? Those are different activities that we have within the year related with um, inner journeys. Uh, this is part of our herbs garden. Also, uh, we we do organize uh, dinners, uh, barbecues, special events. Uh, even to the to the point of if uh, we have uh, vegetables to harvest, uh, you can harvest and then we can cook it for for you. Well, another of uh, our I mean one of the most popular activities is the, the the cooking class where we bring the guests to the to the local market and after uh, after buying a few ingredients we do the. Uh, I mean, certain recipes. Now, uh, I would like to introduce you the what, what you can find in Tagaytay. Tagaytay is known because of the pineapple plantations and the coffee. Okay, here we have um, an amusement park. Uh, Tagaytay is known also because of the overviews of the Taal volcano. Okay, a beautiful uh, volcano that is in the middle of a lake. Uh, uh, maybe you you hear that last uh, January it erupted. Okay, but right now the the, the volcano is resting. 
uh, around Anya, we have uh, four different uh, golf courses, okay, where we have uh, access to all of them. In the lake, uh, you can practice uh, sailing classes, or if you are advanced, you can also practice by yourself, the hobby cats, hobby system. Um, we have a different um, uh, organic uh, farms that can be visited during your stay. Uh, Intagaita is known also because of the different churches. We have a uh, hour, hour and a half from, from Ania, we have also the beach, okay? Uh, we have another property where we can visit. And then uh, this is one of my favorite, that is uh, Tal Town. Uh, it's a, almost a town that is a full museum where uh, all the houses are colonial, still from the Spaniards. And you can find the biggest church or cathedral of uh, all Asia, okay? And with this one, I finish with my presentation. Okay, thank you very much. Excellent, thank you so much. Well done, sir. Uh, you can now uh, take a mute for yourself. And Imran, if you would go ahead, unmute yourself, sir, and share your content. Excellent. Okay. You may I, begin. Hi, guys. So here I have myself, Imran, and I represent the Fortress It's Old Hands Park. And talking about, uh, let me start with the, uh, the situation in Sri Lanka regarding COVID arrivals. As I, as I see, it's a, it's a common question to everyone. Uh, well, uh, as you, some of may know that uh, Sri Lanka is still, uh, the borders are still closed, the airport is still closed. But uh, they were scheduled to uh, reopen the airport in uh, August, but due to some cases, they had to postpone it to September to be on the safe side and also uh, followed with uh, due to the election, upcoming election. So yeah, so the decision has been made to open in uh, September and uh, 14 days quarantine uh, uh, procedure will be followed as a, as a national health guideline. So it's, uh, it's a bit of a, still the guidelines are still on discussion in the government and health, health organization, how as into how the arrivals will be handled at the airport and for the positive cases and negative cases. So moving forward, uh, giving you an introduction about the Fortress Resort and Spa. Um, the Fortress is actually is 11 uh, years young. I, 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 would, I don't want to use the word old, although it's old. Uh, it's, it's a property that, was, that is built new to look old. And um, the, the architecture actually has been taken off uh, from the style of the goal for the UNESCO. And uh, the fortress is actually a beachfront property located on the south coast. So the accessibility from the airport to, uh, to our resort is just about 45 minutes. And um, the fortress is, is a boutique hotel and one of the oldest uh, SLH members, as in, uh, in Sri Lanka. So we are boasting about our hospitality and the, the brands that we use and the luxury services and dining, so from entrance till the departure. So Fortress is actually located in, in Kogala, where, as I said, in the South Coast, it is very, uh, uh, South Coast is very famous for history, culture, as well as for the nature. One of the favorite uh, experiences, I would say, in, in, in South Coast would be the cinnamon plantations, because cinnamon is one of the, the, one of the highest uh, produce in the world. I think it's about 5% to the, to the world uh, market. And uh, regarding Golford, it's, 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 it's definitely a must-go uh, destination for whoever arrives to Sri Lanka, and they all actually uh, love to visit uh, Gold Fort and uh, discovering the history of the Gold Fort. So this is our this is to uh, 
as into this is our global recognition and uh, we've been awarded by many many uh, uh, recognized uh, uh, affiliations and uh, awards etc so one of the one of the least ones would be the world luxury spa, spa awards and uh, we are members of Condenas Johansson's as well as well as we've been winning back to back uh, for our spa and services which I will be talking in a few moments so talking about, so talking about the resort uh, resort has the properties actually has um, 51 rooms with six different categories starting category would be the fortress room and then the ocean rooms and the beach and beach splashes lots and the residential suites so i will be taking you through on the uh, from the suites uh uh from the suite categories so as you see this is the the entrance of the resort and it's actually built like a castle and so this is the entrance and this is as soon as you enter this is the lobby so the beach is just a hop step and a jump so it has a lovely uh, view from the rooms as well as from the pool deck so whoever taking a sun bath is definitely is going to enjoy the view of the indian ocean so the accommodation talking about the accommodation so let me start with the sweet category so this category is one of the the, the biggest uh, room types we have and the size square feet wise it's about 2500 square feet and has comes with two uh, bedrooms one with the suite and, and an interconnecting room and it does have a, a plunge pool facing the Indian Ocean on the first floor and the amenities that we are using is Bulgari and all the facilities that have been provided including a butler service either male or female and also we provide um, all uh, the, the, the room this room can be accommodated up to four adults or perhaps you know a family of five comfortably and then moving forward to our junior suite this is the locked category this is specially designed for honeymooners and this is a duplex setup you get the you have the uh, the you have a what's the one of the special featuring in this room category is that the, the pool is uh, built inside the room so it's an indoor plunge pool and it gives more privacy for a honeymoon um, honeymooners or perhaps you know of a, for a small family so the living room uh, is situated on the ground floor and there's a private stairway to the bedroom on the on the first floor then we are going to the beach rooms so we've got about 12 uh, 12 rooms in uh, sorry beach flashes I'm a big pardon. So beach flashes is also one of our uh, honeymoon categories. And in this room as well, we have uh, an indoor plunge pool and we've got two sets of them. And it is actually built for, for, for couples. And the, one of the reasons why we actually built a, a room like this is, is because there was a demand from the, uh, the, the Arabians uh, the Middle Eastern clients where they need a pool inside their rooms for their privacy purpose. And in fact, we provide, all, in all rooms, we provide the butler services. So everything is personalized. Then we are moving forward to the, the family categories. So uh, people who actually has large families, we, we have a category called the family rooms. It's located on the ground floor with interconnecting options we can go up to seven people here with either three bed three three uh two two large beds with extra beds setups so in these rooms every room we have the uh, the wooden floor uh, interior as well as the the, the bulgari uh, amenities as well as smart tv and uh, in fact you can order your room dining menus through your mobile phone so every everything is the technology is actually attached with your room experience and we are going to one of our our uh, another category it's the ocean room and this ocean this is one of the largest inventories in the property where it's on located on the first floor facing the indian ocean so this room is 700 square feet 
and we will be uh, actually it is actually uh, uh, built for uh, couples and the reason why they, they they request for this category because it has a private balcony option and being said that the beach rooms the one before that i showed they have a terrace although the terrace is there most couples love to choose the ocean category due to the, due to the view from the uh, the room as well as due to the 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 private balcony and then the category is our fortress room this does have a unfortunately this doesn't have a uh, a view of the sea but it does uh, we, we call it uh, uh, a non sea view room and the restaurants so we've got three main restaurants one is the white and duo for fine dining options and then the seafood and then the seafood for all inclusive uh, plans and then the tea lounge for high tea and then this is one of our major experience the private dining in the pool and wellness and fitness centers is for clients who are staying for longer period as well as uh, for people who are actually looking for ayurvedic treatments and conference facilities for full buyout events and etc and we do also have a small boutique and then we do also do uh, weddings destination weddings as well so experiences from uh, the fortress can be done the, the golf fort uh, walk or uh, the historical walk and yes the leopards leopard tours just one hour away for the to the, the national parks and then of course the so one of the major attractions are these these blue wells so we do uh, exclusive experiences from the resort itself and turtles is one of our CSR projects that we do to we protect the sea turtles. And yeah, so this is all about the fortress simply. And I wish to send, uh, I will send you the, 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 the presentations to uh, SLH. Thank you so much, Imran. Really appreciate that. Uh, agents, again, if you have any questions, type those in, in the chat box. And last but not least, Anouk. I have just unmuted you and you may now share your content idea. Yes. Bhutan Spirit Sanctuary. I don't see it yet. Not yet. I keep uh, now, um, you just need to click on share content. Oh, no. Yes. There you go. Now Thank you have you, a few, um, you have a few, uh, okay, perfect. It's all gone away and you're ready to go now. Yes. Well, thank you, Josh, and welcome everybody uh, from Portugal, where I am based. My name is Anoppen and I'm the sales and marketing coordinator of the Spirit in Bhutan. Uh, before I start my really short presentation, I would like to refer you to our website for our latest 19 new and our revised cancellations policies. Because it's changed a lot, so I think it's best to have a look at our website. The most important thing to share at the moment is that Bhutan uh, still has all his borders closed for any foreign nationality. Uh, we do not know when or how uh, these travel restrictions will be lifted, but you can imagine we hope that will happen very soon. Uh, because we think Bhutan will be one of the ultimate post-COVID travel destinations. It's safe, it has a policy of low and high value, and it's very wellness orientated. No infections have taken place until now in the country, and nobody has died, which is a very thing. Uh, as, many, as maybe you already know, Bhutan from the beginning that they allow tourism, a policy of low volume and high value uh, to prevent mass tourism. We think that will be something that people will be looking for. And, and which is, I think, the most important thing. Bhutan is actually already a wellness destination itself. Most of the country is, is covered with beautiful nature. Uh, the country's development is actually measured in gross natural happiness. 
and the people uh, they practice mindfulness way before the word was even invented i think in the western world and in the middle of the neptune value only 20 minutes from the international airport in paro is located the bhutan spirit sanctuary and of course we think it's the best property in bhutan uh, it's very low volume we have only 24 rooms divided in two blocks uh, in two floors. So there's a lot of space and it creates a lot of privacy for all the guests. In the beginning, our concept was based on well being for the guests in every aspect of the whole experience. After a special welcome ceremony, we invite all our guests to have a consultation with in house traditional medical doctors who had an education of more than five years in Timbu, the capital of Bhutan. The, de the doctors uh, developed a well-being program for all our guests with all kinds of aspects. Obviously, it's free for, for guests to join, they don't need to. Um, and guests are entitled on one, at least one, sanctuary signature treatment per day. This can be a massage, it can be a hot stone herbal bath, or any other treatments which we specially do. We only use Bhutanese herbs treatments, and we have a collection of over 150 sorts at our house. Our spa also consists of a yoga and meditation studio, which guests can use. They can either have lessons or classes in group or personal, whatever they choose. We also have saunas, steam rooms, an infinity pool with a sun deck and a gym, of course. A very important part of our well being concept is our kitchen and restaurant. We offer a mix of Bhutanese, uh, Indian, and traditional uh, cuisine dishes, and we can adjust to, uh, toward every diet. That's not a problem. All food is prepared uh, according to the farm to table concept. We have our own gardens, uh, herbs, vegetables, we have our own apple orchard, and we use as many products as much as possible from the local community. The restaurant is very centrally located at a big family uh, table, uh, also a tea bar with more than 20 herbal teas, and we have a beautiful terrace, uh, you can see the view, with a fire pit which we, which we fire in the evenings. A special thing to mention, we do not have any fixed menus, nor fixed times, nor fixed places for people to have their meal. That's on the uh, interest of the guests. Also, depending on the interest of the guests, we offer pottery classes in our art, art studio. We, and we organize herbal walks with our traditional medicine doctors. We have cooking classes, a high class with picnics, homemade picnics. We uh, practice traditional sports, and of course, we organize visits to the world famous tiger's nest. Probably you all heard from it. But the best, the very, very best of all of it, all this is included in the room rate even laundry service. So literally, when people have paid for the hotel, they do, not, they do not have to spend any more money. To give you a little bit of an impression of our Bhutan sanctuary, I would like to invite you to look at this movie. So 
hope this gave a little bit of an impression. Uh, before I end this very short presentation, I would like to ask your question for our special promotion. Uh, guests can stay three nights and only have to pay two nights. This is valid for bookings still made this year. Uh, for stays, obviously, until the whole uh, end of 2020. It's also applicable to our second signature package you can find on our website. Now, I hope you understand I can tell a lot more about our sanctuary, uh, probably for hours, but um, it's this was the time slot. So I thank you very much for your attention and we hope to welcome you to our place to get together with you guests. Thank you very much. Well done. Well done. Well, thank you all SLH Hoteliers for taking the time to prepare and present today. Uh, agents, thank you all so much for everything you're doing right now. Um, I know it's quite challenging. Um, some of the um, comments coming through, I wanted to visit all these incredible properties. Can't wait to get out of the world again and send clients to to your hotels. Thank you so much for a great presentation. Um, thank you so much for that, Angie. Uh, agents, thank you again. Um, hotel yours. Thank you. I'll send you a conclusion email. Y'all have a great day. Bye bye.